What's up guys, uh, today I'm going to be installing a pull starter on this brand new engine I got. I actually uh, really like the way the design is. I like how the they use like good screws with Allen keys for right here, over here, over here. So all around the engine, it's actually very decent compared to the uh, the old one right there, that one right there. But um, and it comes with a very nice gasket. You can see the piston in there. It looks really good. Uh, it only came with this. It didn't come with the carb or the spark plug. I put those in separate. But um, it was about I want to say like eighty bucks, maybe seventy. I think exact was seventy eight dollars but uh yeah it, it's very cheap and I did not expect it to be with these screws the what one picture showed with these screws then the other showed with the, the cheap Chinese yellow screws right there so uh I was I was kind of iffy about it but after looking at it it looks very good I do like how this one actually has a screw not like this thing from the old, the older one where you go right here, goes in like that, and you screw it. I don't like that. This one I really like. So I'm gonna prop up the camera. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. It's very simple, but I'll show you, and it's very easy. So let's do it. All right. So I got everything propped up. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna take this off for this engine. The uh, Size is about 764, 7-64, 764, it's um, the size of the Allen screw, the screw, so you're just going to unscrew this, very simple, unscrew right here, These look like decent parts, but I haven't seen the inside of the engine, so I can't really tell, but by the looks of it, it looks like it's pretty well built. Even like these screws right here, they're pretty thick compared to the, the stock engine that I got. But, uh, yeah, I'm not really seeing anything bad. I mean, like that looks really good, so. I mean, there is no gasket on it, but that's okay. You really don't need one. But uh, I forgot the size of this. You're going to want to take this nut off. Uh, I believe the size of it is... I don't... Is it a 12? No, it's bigger than a 12. I'm gonna go get the nut, uh, not nut, what am I saying, Jesus. Uh, I'm gonna get the socket for this, the right size, and I'll be right back. Okay, I found it. The socket is a 14 millimeter. 14. Uh, okay, great. Do I not have my impact adapter? I'm a mess right now. I moved things around, so I'm still cleaning up from it. By the oh, it's right here. It's hidden. Got it. Okay, found it. So there's a 14. Take this off. With the, I, sometimes it comes with washer. Mine didn't, the one that I had before, but. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna see these two notches right here. Gonna line up with these two spaces right here. 
and it's just gonna go like this. Just put it back the way you got it. This. Then this knot goes right here. Then you're gonna tighten it. Probably not that. You probably don't want to make it too tight, but you could already hear the engine spinning. So basically, let me just show you how this works. So you're gonna put this, these two are gonna lock in right here to these like little openings right here. As you pull it, I mean, you obviously know, but as you pull it, it spins, this spins. So I'm gonna line it up. It's a very simple process. I mean. Okay, we got it on. It, was, it really took like five minutes. I just had to. It's easier when you have the engine like this. So, but now, theoretically, if I pull this, you'll hear it turn over. I mean, there's a lot of compression because this is still on, but you can hear it. So you can definitely hear it, so it is working. So, uh, that's really it. I might do a video of me putting it on the end, like on the bike, showing the, like how to put a bike together, basically, if you got it brand new. Oh, oh my bad, there was a gasket. I'm, there's a gasket right here. Nice. Isn't that wonderful? So, I guess I'm gonna have to take this back off, put the gasket on. Ah, uh, the joys. But, yeah, so, this is the gasket, by the way. I don't know if I wanted the frame. But, um, yeah, it, it looks like a decent engine. Um, I'm, like, pretty sure it's pretty good. And, uh, I probably would recommend, before you start it or pull it, put a little bit of oil down here. So, like, maybe, like, in the... The spark plug is like right over here. Put a little bit of oil in there, but uh, just like a little bit of two stroke oil, motor oil, any type of oil. It's not like WD 40 or something like that, but like more like heavier oil, thicker oil, so it's easier for the piston, so the, the rings and stuff. But uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully see you guys soon. See you.